Remember, this is the Provoke Pro One, and I'm here to talk to you about important things to know about your RAM setup in your PC and things to avoid and issues that you may accidentally cause without realizing it. And this is not going to be a discussion around the DDR5, DDR4 problem that I had with the Z790 motherboard that you can see here, but it is worth bearing in mind checking and making sure that you've got the right RAM for your system and that it's compatible because you don't want to end up with the problem that I had here where I was foolishly trying to install DDR5 into a DDR4 system because it simply won't fit. But that's not the point of this video. I want to talk about other things and the important points that include the logic of the installation. So on most modern motherboards, they're a dual channel setup, which means you need two sticks of RAM, and they're usually installed in slots A2 and B2. Refer to your motherboard manual, but you generally find that you need to install two sticks of RAM in those two slots. And it usually starts with A2 as the first one, so two slots in away from the CPU, as you can see here, and then the fourth slot closer to the edge. It's important to install them in that position because if you do it in any other, you may find that you're running without all the maximum sticks. You can see here, for example, that only one stick is being recognized by the BIOS and that is the one in B2. So if you install your sticks in different positions, not the correct positions, you may find that even if you put two sticks of RAM in, the system is actually only recognizing one and it's running in a single channel memory configuration, which means that you're then not getting the maximum performance that you should be. So you could at hardware level think that you've done things right and then in Windows and in the BIOS, actually that stick of RAM isn't being recognized. And you might not even really realize immediately until you check these things. So it's worth keeping that in mind. The other thing is the logic of the installation. So aside from putting them in the right slot, you also need to make sure that the sticks you're installing are running at the same speeds and have the same memory capacity. You can't mix and match memory. So for example, you can see some Corsair RAM installed here already. And then I'm going about trying to install some Kingston Fury Beast RAM. Now this is both DDR5 RAM, but they may well be different size sticks. You could have obviously 32 gigabyte sticks and then try and add in some extra eight sticks perhaps, or other things. I have actually heard horror stories of people doing this where they had two sticks as two 16 gigabyte sticks and then they tried to add in two eight sticks to add an extra memory. This is not going to work because it's going to use the smallest version. The BIOS is going to struggle with what the logic is of what you've done and it's just not going to work. You need to make sure you paired up the size of the memory, the speed of the RAM and also other things as well like the timings. If you mix and match RAM you're going to end up with problems where your system just simply doesn't boot or it runs at a slower speed than it should and it's just not making the most of it. Now a lot of people also tell you that two sticks of RAM is superior because that will give you better performance. This really varies depending on the system and what you're doing. I personally use four. You can see two installed in this system here. I actually ended up putting two more in there because I wanted extra memory for video editing and things like that is worth doing. But when upgrading, you do need to make sure that your sticks match in terms of the setup of the speed, the size, and the timings. And then you also need to make sure they're from the same manufacturer. And even then, ideally, you really want to buy a pack with four sticks in it rather than two separate packs because you could still run into problems. You also need to make sure you turn on XMP in the BIOS settings to make the most of the speed when you're doing this. I've done videos separately on these sorts of things. I'll link to those in the description. But it's just important to keep all these things in mind when installing your RAM and then when potentially upgrading it in the future. Hopefully this has been an interesting and useful video to you. Be sure to check out your BIOS to make sure your RAM is running properly. Turn on your system and just keep mashing at a delete key and see if your BIOS recognizes it. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.